Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the three point starter. First of all, we will look into what a DC shunt motor is and why we use starter for a DC shunt motor. We will also see the working of a three point starter with the purpose of no volt coil and the overload relay. Let's see what a DC shunt motor is. In a DC shunt motor, the field winding and the armature winding are connected in parallel to each other. Let's try to write the network equation for a DC shunt motor. The armature in a DC shunt motor has some resistance RA. Since the armature winding is nothing but a coil, the coil has the property of opposing sudden change in current. So, the opposing EMF is given by EB which is nothing but the back EMF. So this back EMF drives a current which opposes the supply voltage. So the equation goes like this. The supply voltage V equals the drop across this resistance RA which is given by current through the resistance IA into RA plus the back EMF. So V equals EB plus IA RA. Why we go for starters with DC shunt motor? Note that at the time of starting the back EMF magnitude will be zero. Due to this the expression becomes V equals IA RA. If we try to find the armature current that is IA equals V over RA. Try substituting some values. So the supply voltage will be around some 230 volt and the armature resistance is 2 less that is some 0.3 ohm. So this gives you an armature current of 766 amps. So if you start a DC shunt motor without any starters the fuse will blow due to this high starting current. So we need starter to limit the high starting current and also to prevent motor from under voltage, no voltage and overload. We will see in detail about these in the upcoming slides. So the, the three point starter has three terminals line field and the armature. The line terminal is connected to the line of the DC supply voltage. The field terminal is connected to the field winding and the armature terminal is connected to the armature winding. Let's discuss about the working of a three point starter. Since the three point starter is used to limit the high starting current that flows through the armature a series of resistance must be used to limit this high starting current. Initially, the handle is in the off position and the current through the armature flows like this. So at initial stage, a series of resistance is connected to the armature which reduces the high starting current. But once if the motor runs, back EMF will be generated and we no longer need these high resistances. So we move this handle across this. When we do this, we are trying to cut off the resistances one by one. Once if the handle comes to the run position, there will be no resistance connected to the circuit. Now let's discuss about the purpose of using the no volt coil and the overload release. The no volt coil and the overload release are basically an electromagnets. Initially, the current flows through the field winding like this. It flows through the no volt coil and due to this, the no volt coil gets energized. So it acts as an electromagnet. Once if the handle is moved from the off to the run position, this electromagnet will help to hold the handle 
against the force provided by the spring. So the purpose of the no bolt coil is to hold the handle against the force of the spring. Another purpose of using the no bolt coil is to prevent the motor from high starting current after a power interruption. When a power interruption occurs, this electromagnet can no longer hold this handle and the handle will automatically go to the off position due to the force provided by the spring. Now let's discuss about the purpose of overload relay. So this overload relay is also an electromagnet. Initially the current flowing through this overload relay is not sufficient to attract the lever towards it. But once if an overload occurs it will draw more current and due to this this electromagnet will gain enough force to attract this lever towards it. Once if it attracts the lever what happens is that this triangular iron piece will just short these two points and after shorting this, this coil gets immediately de-energized. Due to this, the handle will automatically come to off position thereby preventing the over voltage. Thank you.